Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bulldogs and Yellow Jackets. Never the twain shall meet. Or at least when they do, they're probably going to fight. Each side has utter disdain for every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Time for some clean, old-fashioned hate. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. hate and they couldn't have come up with a better name as these two schools have little affinity for each other let's head down to the coin toss now and it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste and zero calories enjoy everything Festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out and get a win. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. About four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He makes his way to about the 38. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looks very determined and got the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Takes it up the middle. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. He's got it out to his tight end. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you've got a big-time advantage over any defense. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. That'll bring up 34. 
And so it's another third down upcoming here. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. This is the 10th play of this drive. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. From the 26 yard line. Second down. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down around the 15 yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and it puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action fast, boy, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make it. This is the 13th play of this drive. And he's tackled at the three-yard line. and goal from the two and they can smell the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 14-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Makes it out to about the 49. And so the fullback gets a nice gain on the option there. They're using everyone. Well, the thing about the option as a defense, you have to account for everybody. Here, the offense gives it to the fullback, and he picks up the first down on a huge gain. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Anderson gains around six yards on the run. That's a gain of six on the run. That'll make it second and four. I got two, got two, got two, got two. In your face. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 23. First and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23 yard line. 91 in the mic. And watch the slant. Brought down at the five. That makes it first and goal. Thank you. 
was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. Will be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. And for Kansas, they're in danger of losing two straight. The Wildcats are on top, 7-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Brown has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he'll return this one from the 7. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He fires. He got it. Tackle at the 31. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Fires it out. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. We've played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. And we're ready for more football watch, here in quarter number two. Watch 86. I don't think you got it, son. Yeah, three and eight. Get up. Get up. Get up. And he's taken down at about the 17-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. First and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. They'll get him for a loss. The blockers tried to sell the misdirection, but the defenders stayed home and made the play. That's the kind of effort a coach likes to see from his defense. Ball inside the 10 yard line. It's second down. He tackles him for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it 30 goal. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 65-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes, the 27-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. 
In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Runs right for a nice gain. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game of six yards. That'll make it third and one. He's on the run, down the sideline. Touchdown. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP, pick your poison. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now, here's Reese. Kansas and Kansas State in the Sunflower Showdown. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Kansas, win this one, and they're bowl eligible. Kansas leads it 14-7. All tied up at 14 in our game, Reese. Brown, ready to kick. Stewart back to return. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 32. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Steps out of bounds at the 38-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. They bring him down in the backfield. Brings him down. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it 35. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they push him out at the 45 yard line. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws incomplete. Stewart was the intended receiver on the play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Good tackle there in space. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he is drilled to 37-yard line. That is a loss of six on the play. 
Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. So the sack makes this third and very long. Tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Got him incomplete. He's hit hard. the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Mustangs roll in today ranked number 20. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. And for Underwood, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top. 7-0. Middle of the first quarter. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. Knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's got it. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He heaves it deep. This one will fall incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. We've had a shootout through two quarters here with nothing but offense. 21-14, Georgia. All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check this out the penalty. Uh, clipping. clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes his way to about the 38. First down. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Check 
And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. Yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Goes over the middle. The tailback's got it. And he's tackled at the 45. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. and he's met immediately. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 48. To the 20. The 10. He's tackled right around the six-yard line. That's a game for the two the way. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Run up the middle. That brings him second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down at the two. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. They'll knock him down for a loss. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Kansas State, they're struggling to take control of this game. The Jayhawks are on top, 21-14. Elsewhere, the Mustangs tee it up today, ranked 20th. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for SMU, a win today gives them nine wins on the season. SMU in front, 21 to seven. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. Brown has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle at the 28 yard line. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defense has changed things up as they try to stop these guys. Oklahoma! Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Got some open field. Tackle at the 41-yard line. and 10 following that big run. Georgia holds a four-point lead. Yeah, 
Fires out to his receiver. To the 10. Brought down to the open field. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. First down. First and goal. If you're going to go play action inside the five, here's the time to do it. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. He makes the PAT. Looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Mays takes it from the six. Tries to get around the corner. And he's tackled at the 31. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Oh, game of six yards. Yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice run to the outside. That's a game of four. That'll bring up third and inches. Two times, two times. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Runs it left for a decent game. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The Bulldogs in front by 11. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Third down again. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. Play action. He'll scramble. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. And this is the eighth play of the drive.
takes it to the five. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. He's taken down around the eight-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, Tech! They'll go for two in this situation. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Georgia 28, Georgia Tech 25. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So they'll respot the ball, and we'll get this game going again. Brown gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. The inside handoff, and he's taken down right around the 26 yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 26. Just under three to go in regulation. around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. tailback they'll bring him down at the 44 very solid gain through the air I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football so it's second down and about two yards to go and he hits him hard at the 42 yard line he gains a couple of yards on the carry Georgia Tech's gonna have to use their second time out of the half the corner and he's tackled in the open field the defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there this offensive line definitely left it all on the field today from the 30-yard line first down 
Just under two to go in the game. Heading for the corner. He's at the 20. Now the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. Run, 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 run. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. And the goal line defense digging in here. Play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Kansas will try to rock and chalk out behind the Wildcats in a Sunflower Showdown. Let's take yet another peek at this game. In this rivalry, winning is only part of the fun. The other part is making the other guy miserable. And for Cutler, he's barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead, 24-21. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever expect that to happen. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 31-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. We have less than a minute to go. Little pass over the middle to the fullback. And he's leveled the 39-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He airs it out. And got him! Down the sideline! Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Spikes the ball. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six-yard line. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. The spike will stop the clock. 